Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Phoenix Traconis and this is k -On Reviews. Now, as you saw in the intro, today's review video is going to focus on Transformers Legacy United Beast Wars Universe Silver Bullet. And this is a very, very up-to-date version of the original Beast Wars figure that you see bes uh, beside him. So let's go ahead and take this guy out of here. And let's focus on this version. And you can see you know, the big open window, which... Uh, Hasbro said they were going to go ahead and put the uh, plastic win plastic coverings back on there. I have not yet seen that. Uh, but here you see the really great artwork of them in beast mode. You also see, you know, close-up of his face as well as him in robot mode. Over here, the other half of that... Great artwork for anyone that has seen my previous video. And the renderings of him in both robot and beast mode. Now, of course, you'll probably notice that the that a lot of the legalese and stuff like that is in Japanese. This is a Japanese import here. As you can tell. So you will see that all the way around. Now, I wound up getting this as part of a group buy through my Transformers group, Trans uh, Cybertron's Elite. And so I'm going to give out a special shout out to Snoop who made this possible. So thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. So uh, other than that, let's take one final look at uh, Silverbolt in his box. And without any further ado, Let's go ahead and get him unpackaged. And there he is, Silver Bolt, doing the, the big superhero pose. And uh, I have to say, I am really, really liking this. Uh, now, of course, there's... You know, he's got some some really good uh, paint applications that they put on him. They really did a really good... No, his uh, robot head mouth does not move. Uh, they really did a really good job. Um, though, of course, you know, the paint apps are very minimal. Uh, it's mostly a lot of gray plastic. Do you see the sonar piece here that he always has? This could have done with some paint. Honestly, a lot of this could have done with some good paint on there. Uh, I may look at some customizing videos and see about doing that. But let's go ahead and take a look all the way around. I mean, you can tell he's got, you know, the, the fur... The fur uh, details on here, his robot head, really good molded details, especially along his uh, his calves here, mixture of uh, tech organic as well as organic. Over here, you do see a lot of the fur and the feather details here. Very nice. Uh, you know, I, I'm liking this a lot. You know, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this is a definite step up on here. You know, robot mode, he's doing it very well. But let's go ahead and take a look at his accessories. So he only comes with two things, and that are his feather daggers or whatever sorts and they actually fit here in his hand here 
So he can be able to, you know, use those. Not too bad. Now, of course, he does have wrist rotation here. But, uh, yeah, you know, other than that, let's go ahead and proceed with his articulation. So his head, I want to say it's on, a, yeah, it's on a ball joint. It does have a little bit of what MGO would normally call wiggly waggly. He can turn left. He can turn right. He can basically turn 360. The only thing is he can't really look up or down. So one little drawback that would have actually helped if you had him in a uh, in a flying pose. Him looking up would have been good. Uh, so he does have some articulation in the wings back here, so you can have those like that. Uh, his arms can go 360, and they can go up like so. He does have a bit of upper bicep rotation. His arms can uh, move around 90 degrees. It can go further, but that will detach the uh, the wolf, uh, you know, the hind leg when he's in beast mode from the back of his uh, bicep. So that will be there. He does have waist rotation. He can kick up around 90 degrees or over 90 degrees. He can kick back, but he will hit his back. Uh, he has upper thigh rotation. He can bend around 90 degrees. His foot can tilt and go up a little bit. And he had, does have ankle tilt as well. So not too bad. So, you know, other than that... There he is. So let's go ahead and uh, get him uh, repositioned. I'm going to take a few shots of him for the in cap. And I'll be right back with transformation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with the transformation. One of the first things we are going to do is I go ahead and open up his back section here. And oh, oh, silly me. We need to untab his shoulder arms here and here. And then at this point, Open up this portion here, and then that, and like so. Yeah, there we go. Then we just undo the back. For those that didn't see it the first time around, you gotta lift the head. That will untab from the back. And then just open that up, lift out the head. Then we just turn this around. Then we just push the head back in. Then we just tap these two sections together. And then just push the arms in like so. Do the same on the other side. And there we go. Then at that point, just got that. And there you go. You got his back end, which I will tell you more about this portion here, but at a later time. Then this crotch panel here will fold over, completing his chest. Then at this point, these will become his front claws. Then you just fold that in, push the hands in like so. Going to do the same on the other side, like that. Then we just tap. There's a pig 
right there that's going to go into that slot right there. And there you go. And then just put the wings out like so. And there he is in all his canine glory. And there is Silverbolt. And I have to say, not too shabby. Now, of course, that being said, I do have some issues. Unlike the original version, which I will bring out in comparison, um, this one has an open mouth, which is pretty cool. I do like that. You can close that up. So. Yeah, there we go. Keep that open. His wings, I really wish were a little bit larger. Not to mention, I really wish his back wings were a little bit more were a little bit more larger to cover up his back section because for anyone who has seen this character, you know, and I will show you the box art here. As you can see, you see the back wheels. Now, of course, you will say, oh, well, that's just the angle. True. But you also see it, and I will try and pick up a uh, an image of him in in flight in his beast mode and again this is this may be just me and maybe i'm being nitpicky but you know granted yeah you do see that and you do see the angle but in the back yeah no this should be further out to cover up this back section. So, yeah, I'm not that pleased. Uh, he, depending on the angle you have him, he's great. But when you have him at the side, that's where he, you lose the, yeah, you lose that. So, give me a moment to bring out uh, his original Beast Wars uh, figure. Now I'll do a couple of comparisons, and we'll go ahead and take a look at those. All right, and here they are side by side. The original Beast Wars and the Legacy Beast Wars. And you can tell, you know, he's got that little snarling face. This one, not so much. Looks like a German Shepherd in a way. <laughs> but again, this is what I was talking about. See that? Side by side. You have a much more longer tail feathers that cover up his uh, back end. Whereas this one hardly covers up anything. Like I said, maybe I'm being nitpicky, but I, you know, come on, really? You couldn't have extended that a little bit further. So, yeah, but there he is in beast mode. Let's go ahead and take a look at him in robot mode. And here we have Silverbolt with Silverbolt. And uh, you can tell the differences between them are night and day height-wise. <laughs> the Legacy version is a lot taller. A lot more bulkier, too. Uh, he has a lot more articulation. And uh, more tune accurate than anything else. However, that being said, one thing that I really wish they did was, again... Much more bigger wingspan because I think it's 
you know, if this figure was about the same height as this one, you can see the wingspans are a little bit big, a little bit wider. But one thing also is that these wings, granted, they are at the back, but they're kind of low. They should be higher up. Okay. And not to mention, they do not fold up like uh, this one does. So, <clears throat> and then of course, you have the diminutive back section here. Um, honestly, you know, um, that's the one thing that I'm not really all that jazzed with. Like I said, the wings should be higher up here to cover up this back area. And then, of course, these back wings, they're a lot smaller, so it doesn't cover up his back section in beast mode. So, yeah, you know, that that's pretty much... You know, despite the the tune accuracy and the uh, and the added articulation and whatnot, that's my my beef with the with the figure on you know in general. But uh, let me take a few more shots for the end cap, and I will come back with my final thoughts as well as my score. All right, folks, thank you for your patience and waiting. I really appreciate it. Now, here we have Silver Vote all by its lonesome. I did not bring out Black Arachnia. Uh, I know that sh having her would have been really awesome, but I'm just too lazy to go and try and dig her up right now. Uh, so in the meantime, there is the bird dog, and uh, I'm – Pretty impressed with the figure in robot mode. As I stated earlier in beast mode, he was okay from certain angles. And he was lacking in certain angles. And, um, you yeah, know, when it came down to it, um, I mean, he had some really good you know, paint articulate or paint applications in certain areas, but he's really lacking in a lot of other areas. And um, uh, in terms of his, you know, like I said, the figure's a big improvement from his original Beast Wars mode, but at the same time, it has Hasbro has dropped the ball in certain areas. As I mentioned earlier, his back wings could have been higher up. So they would be up further up, I should say. Uh, also, in beast mode, and I mentioned this earlier, his back tail feathers did not cover his backside. But of course, you know, so I'm pretty sure some of you will say, well, it's not like you're going to have them displayed you know, with his backside, you know, facing us. This is quite true. However, that being said, I would like the figure to actually be, you know, to look complete. So I'm going to be on the lookout for a third party to where it would replace that one panel that will extend, you know, the, uh, the tail feathers, especially in beast mode. So... We'll see, you know, what happens at this point. But uh, if I have to give him a, if I have to give him a score on a scale of one through ten, I'm gonna go ahead and give him an eight, and it's mostly for the issues that I had mentioned earlier and throughout the video. But that is my score. That is my take on the figure. I want to hear from you. Have you picked this up? Now I wound up picking up. Uh, this figure, among with a few others, as part of a group buy through my Transformers group, Cybertron's Elite. 
So once again, I do want to give a shout out to Snoop who made this possible. And uh, nonetheless, you know, as I as I gushed over the figure in robot mode, he looks awesome. He does have issues, but despite all that, let me ask again: Have you picked this up? And if so, do you like him? Do you hate him? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. Click onto the bell icon to let me know. Wait, or I should say. To let you all know when I post up new videos. As always, I'd like to thank you all for liking my channel, for viewing my content, for sharing it, even leaving a comment or two. It helps up my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. This is Phoenix Draconis, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Peace.